What's up, everybody? Chad Boyle, real estate agent, Atlanta, Georgia. I am uh, putting this video together today on utilizing the email functionality within Mojo. Um, live streaming this uh, just makes it easier for me to get the video up into YouTube. Otherwise, I got to save it to my computer and then upload it. Just adds an additional step, so. So a lot easier just to do it uh, on the live stream. So here we go. I use um, the email functionality to do a couple different things in Mojo. So let's go take a look. If we go to settings, then we go to email. We've got a couple different things here. Templates. So these are all the templates I have set up. I don't use all of these right now. I've set some up with the intention of using them in some action plans but uh, have not kind of fully uh, developed those action plans to where I can put this in use. It's kind of a work in progress. But there's, there's a couple in here that I use very, very frequently. Now, number one is contact info. So if some talking to somebody, hey, you know, want to email me your contact info or hey, you know, give me your best email so I can uh, email you my contact info, we can stay in touch. Um, so what they get is an email that looks similar to this. We can do a preview of it. And uh, here's what it's going to look like and um, in both there we go in both uh, desktop and mobile view. So you know up here you can put your logo uh, then I just have kind of the, a header you know Chad Boyle contact information and then I just got my little blurb the generic blurb uh, dear prospect, uh, thank you for your time on the phone. You will blah blah blah. You guys can read it. Um, best regards. So I come in here and I change the name. Uh, you can set it up to where I probably can automatically pull it in. Um, I'm a control freak, so I like to actually change it so that I know 100% that it's right. Um, and uh, that's why this is set up like this. Uh, then below here is my email signature where it has my headshot and then just my contact information, uh, Facebook page, YouTube uh, channel. So, you know, if you are watching this and you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe right now. Um, lots of prospecting videos on here, lots of mojo, how-tos, um, all lots of good stuff. Uh, if you do have an idea of, uh, hey, I want to know how to do this in mojo, or hey, will you make a video on how to do this in mojo, you should put that in the comments and I'll do this. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is the positive guy was watching one of my live streams and I uh, asked him you know what what else he needed to know about Mojo I'll do a video on it and uh, he said how to use the email so that's why I'm doing this this video so this is a preview here the desktop view and then it shows you the mobile view as well where you can see the it's the same thing with a gigantic I don't know why it takes the headshot and makes it enormous but I mean that's pretty scary but uh, that's fine so that's the preview of it so this is one template I have set up then if I uh, get out of here by uh, probably just going back, or maybe, maybe let me just go back the long way. Go back to email. Then my other one's an appointment. So if somebody set an appointment with them, I say, hey, give me your email. I'm just going to send you a confirmation, have my, all my contact information. Um, this is the template here, and again, you can put a label, you can do the subject here. You can blind copy it. I blind copy myself. That way I have it. I know exactly what they saw. And then if there was, if sometimes I attach stuff to it, uh, then I'll have the exact attachment. So if it, something comes up later on down the road, I have a record of it. So again, this is just similar to the last one where it has the logo, um, just a header here, appointment, you know, just want to give them the quick details. Then this little blurb here again, dear prospect. I come in and change prospect to their first name, um, and just uh, send this off to them. It's got the uh, the email signature that uh, that set up. you set that up one time, and you can use it across email templates. So that's this one. So those are the two uh, templates that are set up here. Again, I got some other ones that are just kind of placeholders as. Uh, you know, you can see it's got my old company in here. I got to change that, but uh, once I'll be able to, uh, I got these set up here, so I can use them. So these are the templates. This allows you to set set all that stuff up. 
uh, signature. This is where you set up your signature. You know, you can design it however you want. I mean, clearly I'm not an artist or a graphic designer. I mean, you can see that. It's just, I mean, I don't really care. I just want them to see my picture and have my contact information. That's all I care about. Um, not exactly sure what this is. Um, maybe this is sending it through your email provider versus uh, sending it through Mojo servers. I'm not, I'm not an expert on that. Um, I have never even looked at this, so I'm not even going to go over it. So this is kind of the setup here where you can come in here, set your signature up. You can set up as many templates as you want to use when you're calling or to use um, in your action plans. Now, let's say, let's just go into uh, one so you can kind of see how this works. But uh, we go in here. So uh, Yvonne, I set an appointment with her today. So I was on the phone. I said, uh, you know, Yvonne, let me just, uh, I'm going to send you, uh, email you confirmation. I'll have my contact information, all that good stuff. Uh, what's the best email? She gives it to me. So then uh, we get off the phone. I type in, or, you know, I'm filling out my appointment sheet. I go in here. I add in the email. And then you can do a couple things right here with the email. Here you can edit it. If it's already come in, you want to make sure that's the primary. Um, of course, you can delete it. But in order in t for me to send that appointment confirmation, just click on this uh, envelope here, and then it says choose email type. So you can choose the an existing template. So that screen we were just on, all the templates, you can choose one of those. You can see they're all in here. Or you can just do a, a blank email. So it looks like this, where it just pulls up. It's got the signature in here. You can put the subject, blah, blah, blah. Here's the body of the email, and then it has the signature. So it's just kind of a blank template. So let me get out of here. But if we go here, like today, I pulled up this appointment one. And then I see, you can hit send, but it's going to go just like it is. Uh, or you can hit view and preview it. And so here, here's the here's the layout. It's got the subject. Uh, I don't really use these, so I don't exactly know what that is. You can CC somebody or BCC. That's already set up. We saw that in the template. And so here it is. So here's what I do. It's got my logo. Um, I just change this. So in this case, I'm meeting with her on Saturday, so I don't have to change that. And that is September. 23rd and we're meeting at 1 o'clock p.m. and so then I come in here and I just change this and then I got my verbiage that stays the same and then I got the date and time again down here Saturday is not going to change we are going to change this to September 23rd, and it's going to be at 1 o'clock p.m. Okay, so at this point, I've updated everything. It's ready to send, so it's just going to pull the signature in that we've already seen. You hit send, and it goes. So what you can do with this, I'm just going to X out of here, is in Mojo, when you pull up a record, there's this email tab down here and it, and it lists all the emails that you've sent to them and it tells you the status unopened and plus you can double click on it and you can see the exact email so this is what I sent to her so you can see Saturday September 3rd 1 Saturday September 1 p.m. Yvonne changed her name it's got my all that good stuff this was sent at uh, 351 okay so that's kind of how this works. And the, if you wanted to send the contact information, it works the same exact way. So another thing you can do if you just want to see, okay, what are the statuses of all the emails that I sent? You can go to reports. And then uh, let's email status reports. I usually view it by the week because there, I don't, you know, send out too terribly many emails. And so now I can see these are all the emails I've sent out this week, which were all today. And you can see 
Okay, you can see here, I sent this guy to two different emails. Uh, let's see. See, he's opened it. This one, I came in here earlier. This guy, he gave me his in info. Um, and... And what he did was, I came in here, I noticed this failed. And when he gave me his email, I, I, I forgot this, that this was, oh wait. I don't know. I was thinking that uh, when I sent this, that I spelled it wrong or something. Anyway, I saw that this failed, I went back, I corrected the email address. And you can see now it's it's showing as unopened. And the one that I sent to Yvonne at 351, that's unopened. I mean, it hasn't even been two hours. So this is kind of where you can keep track. And, you know, you want to check this to make sure, you know, like in this case, it failed. Well, I want to make sure he gets that email because I'm going to be meeting with that guy on October 14th. So um, I want to make sure he's getting that good stuff. So this is one place where you can come and... and uh, and check on the status of all your emails to see you know if people have opened them or if they failed. And another thing you can do with the emails are the action plans. And uh, I think I, I have set up some of these in the past. Where you come in here, see, I mean, you can even do create. And so I'm going to say, okay, I want them to get an email. I'm not going to sign an agent because I am the agent. And then it, it gives you all your email templates. So I could say, okay, the first one, he's going to get the market stats. I'm going to add a step. It's going to be an email. And then I'm going to send them, um, you know, references. You know, maybe like seven days later. Then the next step would be a phone call. Uh, that doesn't matter. Maybe the next day. And then maybe, you know, two days later, you send them another email. If I go through the templates, oh, it's just an About Us email that they get, you know, the day after I try to call. So, I mean, you can set it up here so you can see this is where you go into the action plan to pull in the email templates that you've already created, uh, which we already went over how that works. So that's just kind of in a nutshell utilizing the email functionality in Mojo. Uh, one more thing I just wanted to say was um, this feature here where you can go in. Sorry, my thing's running real slow. Where you can go in here and you see that the status is unopened. Like if you were just to, you know, copy and paste this email address over into, you know, you went into, you know, your whatever your Gmail or whatever um, and then you just send it through there well you're you're not going to have this this uh, functionality or at least that I know about I, I don't know how to set that up in Gmail but where you can see hey they've opened it or it's unopened or it's failed so I think this just provides some just additional help for you because you know if you got an appointment with somebody uh, maybe you set it up for like a week out and then you know you, you check on it the day before and hey they haven't even opened the email like maybe that would be a, a you know a good strong indicator that hey maybe you should give them a call otherwise you know you don't want to end up going to the appointment and them not showing up because they didn't get your email so again that's just kind of a quick rundown of how to use the email functionality in mojo if you like this video make sure you like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and if you have any ideas or some things that you're struggling with Mojo, how to do it, just put those in the comments and I'll make a video about it. Uh, if I can help you out with anything else, just give me a call, text, 678-761-2493, uh, or you can just direct message me on Facebook. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next one.